Very warm and very humid. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. That, I think, is the best way to describe our Tuesday here. High temperatures, we're in the upper 80s at Atlantic City International Airport on the mainland. However, that only tells half the story. The dew points, the measure of moisture in the air, we're in the oppressive upper 70s, leading to a heat index in the low 100s for most of the afternoon today. Nowhere near a record high of 97 degrees. If we go to AC Marina here, notice our record high is 99 degrees. That's because the period of record goes all the way back to 1874. And imagine being without air conditioning when it was 99 degrees on this date back then. High temperature today, only 79 at the shore here. But again, it was quite muggy. Now, we always talk about North and South Jersey and yes, Central Jersey too sometimes. Mother Nature tried to play along today. Mother Nature saying, hey, you know what? From about Manahawkin over to Philadelphia, maybe those places North are in North Jersey. I would disagree, but the point is, the further north you went, the cloudier and cooler it was. Seaside Heights only had a high of 74 degrees. Look at all that cloud cover around. That was not the case over in Avalon today. Temperatures in the 80s here with a good amount of blue sky. And if we look at our New Jersey weather network, see the warmest conditions were to the south and west, away to the south and west of our stationary front that sat pretty much right through Ocean and Burlington counties throughout the day today. Now our dew points were oppressive. Pair of sevens for our dew points for most of the day at Atlantic City International Airport. That is downright oppressive. And here's a fun fact for you. This is the 28th week of the year. Looking back at all the 28th weeks of the year since records started in 1943, only 0.4% of the time has the dew point been as high or higher than it was here. So tremendous stickiness in the air we are experiencing now. And that really only happens a few times during the year. And it's never happened before July and it's never happened after about Labor Day weekend here. It's all because of this setup. Bermuda high pressure is off to our east sitting just around Bermuda pumping in this hot and humid air here around the clock by spinning high pressure system. The heat is going all the way into the Midwest as well. It's also helping to develop some fog as warmer air mass goes over a relatively cooler body of water here. Don't see much fog for our Thursday. This is now Friday, some patchy fog. We'll show you Wednesday one more time. I do believe for our Wednesday morning, we are talking about areas of fog along the shore and in Ocean County. Looking at the rain to come, showing some heavier uh, rains here according to our AccuWeather map. Notice nothing out west where much of the west is in some form of drought stage. They do need the rain and are not going to get it. But for us, we are talking about some heavier rain and it'll all come this weekend here. First, we're looking for a line of thunderstorms that could be severe that come sometime during the evening hours and into the overnight. Then they fizzle out. Making our way into Sunday, we're looking for more showers and storms to flare up here across South Jersey. I don't think either day is a washout, but there will be heavy downpours that come with this. One more thing too, before we get to our numbers here, Margate Community Center, Thursday, July 22nd. We'll talk all about hurricanes at the Down Beach Community Meeting. I'll be there along with some great Office of Emergency Management representatives from Margate, Venner, and Lawnport, also South Jersey Gas and Atlantic City Electric, as well as my weather dad, Jim Everwine, will be there as well. So we hope to see you there. Taking a look at our Tuesday night numbers, mid 70s everywhere. That is muggy and it is well above average for this time of the year here. It is uncomfortably sleeping without the air conditioner or at least a fan going with an open window going into our wednesday morning we do have that fog around here southwesterly winds temperature skyrocketing all the way into the upper 80s by 9 a.m here on the mainland upper 70s at the shore and what a day it is for the shore water is warm surf heights are low partly sunny sky and the rip current risk is low as well so really looking to be a fantastic beach day here in south jersey and as we go into our wednesday Temperatures on the mainland will be 91 degrees here for our high. The shore does develop that sea breeze, and again, we will be in the mid 80s there. A little less humid than it was today, although today really can't get much more humid than it was. All right, Wednesday night, let's talk about what's going on. Some showers possibly coming through between about 7 p.m. until 2 a.m. here. Temperatures still going to stay very much on the mild side as we do have lows in the low 70s. Let's take a look at what's going on on our mainland seven day forecast. Thursday and Friday, again, going to be a little less humid, uh, especially on Thursday. Friday, that humidity does creep back in. Saturday, we'll see that humid air as well. No day is a washout either Saturday or Sunday here across the area, but there will be showers and storms to contend with at some points in time. And then as we go into our Monday and Tuesday, temperatures falling a little closer back to seasonable. Still looking for some showers on a mostly cloudy day Monday. Tuesday should actually be very comfortable with drier air. We'll have more updates for you on social media. You can always come to our website for the latest at thepressofac.com slash weather.